Hello everyone, Miss Millinder here, and today we're going to talk about observations and inferences. Now when most people think of observations, they think of things that you see. However, observations could be made using all of your senses. So, and you know the primary senses of sight, smell, taste, hearing, and touch. There are plenty other senses in your body, but those are the five primary ones. However, you can also um, make observations with extensions of your senses. So in this particular image you have a man with a walking stick. Um, he can use that as his third point of contact but he can also check how deep a hole is or how deep water is or check to see if there's anything under a, um, a shrub or something. Um, you know, defend himself from snakes. <laughs> uh, in this picture we see a dog who's trained to find people in the event of an avalanche. So that would be an extension of our sense of smell. And dogs are trained to smell a variety of things like drugs and weapons and um, accelerants at fire scenes. Next image, you can see another extension of your senses um, in terms of hearing aids. And there are other hearing things. With a microscope, you can see items that are or objects that are way too small to see with the naked eye and with telescopes you can see things that are really really far away. A breathalyzer will I consider be an extension of the sense of smell because it measures what how much alcohol is in your bloodstream or how much alcohol comes out in your breath. So here's an image that I thought was really cute and so we have three little ducklings in there climbing a, looks like a curb to a sidewalk or something. When you make observations, they can be qualitative observations, which is describing a quality or property. So what I mean are, you know, the ducks are yellow or the ducks are cute or soft. Um, you know, all of those are qualities. Qualities are just things that you do not measure. Whereas quantitative observations are things you measure. There's something, there is a number with a unit. So quantity has the N, so I say, okay, quantity is a number. Um, and units are critically important, and you'll be um, reminded of that over and over and over as the year goes on. So here we have things like three ducklings, the ducklings being the unit. Let's say it's 71.6 degrees Fahrenheit, that's the temperature, and the curve is 6.3 inches. So all of those are quantitative observations because it's a number and a unit. So now we're going to talk about inferences, which are educated guesses supported by observations. Um, you have to have observations backing up any of these inferences or guesses that you make. So we have a scene there with people at a picnic. And we could make the inference that it's a hot day. So let's look at and find some supporting observations that would say that I could use as evidence to say that it's a hot day. So people are wearing tank tops and shorts. Now some people wear tank tops and shorts when it's cold, but it's a fairly good representation of something people wear when it's hot. Um, most of them are sitting in the shade. Um, and you wouldn't sit in the shade when it's cold. So those are good supporting observations that imply that it is a hot day. However, there are many observations that you can make that are valid, but don't support the observation of it's a hot day. So there are six people. Fine observation, but it doesn't tell you anything about whether or not it's a hot day. And there's a picture with a red lid. So good observations don't support the idea that it's a hot day. Let's make some observations here. Now observations are things that really cannot be argued against. They're the facts. So we could say that there are insects sitting on um, rectangular prisms of rice and some are separated from the rice by pieces of leaves. 
Those are valid observations. Saying something like, that is so gross, that's going to taste terrible, all of those things are inferences that you make based on your cultural experiences. So be sure your observations are facts. They are not opinions. So now here's something that I would like you to do. There are three images here, and I want you to choose one of them. What you're going to do is make an inference. Then you're going to list three observations that support your inference and three observations that are valid but don't support your inference. Right? So that's that, and thanks so much for watching.